The German industrial metal band Rammstein are my favourite band. This is primarily because of their explosive stage performances, hard-hitting guitars and soaring electronic riffs, but also because in their videos they are not afraid to play with challenging historical themes, folkloric references and fairy tale imagery, often turning these concepts on their heads in thought-provoking fashion. They are also known for tackling thorny social issues like race, gender, immigration and crime without being an overtly political act. This video will focus mainly on their use of history, mythology and folk and fairy tales, particularly in their slick and expensive videos. First of all, let's look at the video for 2001 Sonne from the album Mutter, which happens to be my favourite Rammstein record. The video combines the concept of industrial mining operations, a nod to the band's working class roots, and the fairy tale of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Dwarves, in the Norse mythological context, are fascinating and slightly sinister entities that are actually dark elves. They hail from Svartalfheim, a dark mirror of the realm of the light elves, Alfheim. Both locations are part of the nine worlds held up by the great tree Yggdrasil. The Dark Elves, or Dwarves, were ugly but skilled in metalwork and made enchanted items such as Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. The underground-dwelling dwarves themselves were said to have begun their existence as maggots in the head of the Jotnar ancestor, Ymir. Their tunnelling ways are seen as a continuation of this grim origin, with the earth replacing the flesh of a corpse. This is echoed in the video for Sonna, as the band portray the dwarves greedily mining the earth's resources. The song also includes a count, which is supposed to be to ten, but stops at nine. The number nine is significant in Norse cosmology, as it is the number of realms supported by the branches of the world tree Yggdrasil. It also features in the Germanic paganism of the Anglo-Saxons in the Nine Herbs charm that invokes nine sacred herbs and mentions Woden, the Saxon form of the Norse god Odin. The story of Snow White itself is included in the Arne Thompson folklore classification and was part of the 1812 collection of earlier folk tales in the Brothers Grimm's Grimm's Fairy Tales. A long time before the Disney version, the original German title was Schneewichten, a low German word that was rendered as Schneeweissen in High German. The Grimm's completed their final revision of the story in 1854. Rammstein's video includes themes such as addiction and exploitation which bring it into the modern era, but the underlying story arc is ancient and includes magic and resurrection. The Snow White character succumbs to her addiction in the bath and the solemn dwarves, played by the band, carry her up to a blasted tree on a dark fairy tale hill. The tree could allude to Yggdrasil, or equally Urminsul, the great pillar of Germanic mythology often represented by trees. The Holy Roman Emperor Charlemagne famously destroyed an Irminsul during the Saxon Wars when he subjugated the pagans and built a church in its place in 783 AD. Germanic pagans venerated sacred groves and trees, including Donna's Oak, with Donna being the representation of the Norse Thor. The tree in the Sonna video shelters Snow White's glass coffin and suddenly sprouts a bright red apple which drops, breaking the glass and reviving Snow White. Also on the album Mutter, the video to the song Ich Will has a theme of political violence and criminal agitation. The video was shot at the former East German State Council office at the Schlossplatz in Berlin and Erich Honecker's former office. Honecker was a communist politician who, via dictatorial means, led the German Democratic Republic, otherwise known as East Germany, from 1971 to the period just before the fall of the Berlin Wall in November 1989. The video calls to mind the actions of the far-left Red Army faction, also known as the Bader-Meinhof Gang, which carried out a series of bombings, assassinations, kidnappings, bank robberies and shootouts with police over the course of three decades, mostly before German reunification in 1990. The mostly black and white video sees the band storming a bank and featuring on vintage television screens before being arrested and led away in chains. On the band's untitled 2019 album, the video to Deutschland, perhaps most controversially, features an unvarnished confrontation of Germany's World War II and post-war communist history. There is a quick shot of a burning airship in the video too, which references the 1937 Hindenburg disaster, in which 13 passengers and 22 crewmen died in controversial and somewhat mysterious circumstances. It also powerfully contrasts book burning with medieval witch burning amid battle scenes, religious zealotry and corrupt and decadent clergy in the Middle Ages. It is interesting to note the lyrics to the song Deutschland, mein Herz in Flammen, will dich lieben und verdammen, Germany, my heart in flames, want to love you, want to damn you. 
The song later concedes, Mein Liebe kann ich nicht geben, my love I cannot give to you. So, despite the ironic use of the phrase Uber alles in the song, this is far from a patriotic message. The video begins in 16 AD with Roman soldiers discovering the aftermath of one of their worst defeats. The great Germanic victory over the Romans under the command of Publius Quinctilius Varus at Teutoburg Forest in 9 AD by a united army of Germanic tribes led by the Romanized but treacherous Arminius or Hermann. The ambush destroyed almost the entire 22,000 strong Roman force and ended the Roman Empire's expansion under Augustus. The video also features a personification of the goddess Germania who ties the story together and is seen weeping towards the end. Germania, like her British equivalent Britannia, is a goddess who personifies the nation. She first appeared during the Roman era, with her name being the Latin word for Germany. Germania was historically depicted as a warrior maiden with long flowing reddish blonde hair and clad in armour. She often wields the sword called the Reichswert and carries a shield with a heraldic motif of the black German eagle on a gold background. In the video for Deutschland, she is portrayed in a number of historical guises, with an eagle or sword often alongside her. The complex and wonderful video for Adieu from Rammstein's latest album, Zeit, or Time, has powerful Christian references. It starts with the band in a van, appearing as a gang of armed robbers, but they have Christian symbols, like a crucifix, and even a cross-shaped night vision headset. Also, band members are seen eating a small piece of food and drinking from a flask in a possible reference to the communion ritual. The video plays out like a high-tech exorcism, with the band entering with weapons and fighting a horde of red-eyed demons in tactical gear. Then another Christian tenet is played out. The destruction of your former sinful self is an intrinsically Christian concept. This is seen in a gloriously unsubtle way as the band descends to a subterranean vault with the label Mutter, as mentioned a previous album title, to their cryogenically entombed former selves, whom they immolate with gasoline and fire. Ephesians 4.22 in the New King James Bible reads, That you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. On a similar theme, Romans 6.6 6 reads, We know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the body of sin might be rendered powerless, that we should no longer be slaves to sin. The band then descend further in a cage into a pit of zombies who assail them. This is reminiscent of medieval conceptions of hell and of the stark and disturbing images conjured up by Dante's Inferno. They then manage to rise up out of their torment to become spiritual entities. This rebirth and abandonment of the corporeal for the spiritual is demonstrated by the multiple versions of the Rammstein band members seen flying through the sky as a horde of would-be angels. Although, for me at least, the scene also calls to mind the imagery of the Germanic pagan concept of the wild hunt, the subversion would certainly fit in with the band's ironic sense of humour. Furthermore, despite the rebirth in Christ and destruction of their former selves, the outro implies that the mission failed, as the Christian strike squad played by the band all lie dead. These are just some of the mythological, religious and historical allegories portrayed in Rammstein's phenomenal music videos. But they serve to illustrate the layered intricacies of the band and their powerful music, as well as their dark sense of humour. I can think of no other band that does things like this. But for now, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.